Greetings. It is a profound honor and privilege to make this little video in memory of and in gratitude to my first violin teacher, Shirley Given. My name is Joseph Swenson, and at the time I first met Shirley at the age of five, I was already a very serious pianist. My other passion, for some reason, was a movie called The Wizard of Oz. My parents arranged this meeting between Shirley and I because my father had heard she was really great with little kids. My parents must have thought I had too much time on my hands. It was a meeting I have never forgotten. I remember thinking what a magical, beautiful woman she was. I felt like I was suddenly in my favorite movie and that I had just met the Good Witch of the East. Even her voice sounded like the Good Witch of the East. Only a few moments after saying hello, she took out her violin and she played for me. It was a sound so beautiful that I have never forgotten it. When she finally asked if I would like to play the violin and be her student, I simply blurted out, yes. I thought she would never ask. Four years passed and her studio became more and more a kind of magical home for me. But suddenly, for reasons I didn't understand, Shirley introduced me to the person she wanted me to continue my studies with. I thought this was very strange. I wasn't nearly ready to say goodbye to my good witch of the East, but I now know that somehow it simply had to be this way. I had just celebrated my ninth birthday, and the person Shirley invited to observe my violin lesson that day was a woman from Kansas, appropriately named Dorothy. It was Dorothy DeLay who would become my primary teacher for the next dozen years. It was also this Dorothy from Kansas who would later introduce me to the two most influential and rather dangerous characters from the movie, both of whom had a huge impact on my life, the Wicked Witch of the West, Robert Mann and the great and powerful Oz, obviously, Isaac Stern. But just like in the movie, I now know that it was always Shirley Givens, my good witch of the East, who had set the whole story in motion and who somehow knew all along that it would turn out good. So thank you, Shirley. There's no place like home.